Welcome, everybody, to That Tracks Podcast. I'm Tim. I'm Nick. And we are recording our very first pilot episode so you guys can get a feel for what this podcast will be about. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. So we, let's start. We have a whole list of things that we're going to go over and like kind of go through. And Nick's got it on his phone. Yeah. So what was the first thing that we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about who we are. So oh. we'll start with you. Who are you? I'm Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and this was another question that we had later in the notes was like, what do we do off aside from this podcast? Yeah, I feel like these two questions kind of go together. together. Yeah. Uh, I do the, the YouTube. I do youtube.com slash the Tim Tracker. Kind of focused on Orlando stuff, family stuff, theme park stuff. We try to do theme parks everywhere, but you know, yeah. Orlando is where we are. So there's theme parks in Orlando, but we focus on it. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Nick. <laughs> and I um, also have an Instagram page and um, hopefully developing more and more in terms of like content creation, but it's called the theme park dad. Um, I started my Instagram back in 2018. Uh, have a lot of fun with it. I cover a lot of theme park content. So uh, obviously we live local as well. Go to the Disney parks, Universal, Busch Gardens, SeaWorld, all the fun things. The good uh, stuff. Yeah. So, um, but then like, who are we as human beings? Um, we're both dads. We're getting existential. <laughs> we're going to do that from time to time. Yeah. You, you guys will come to learn that you can't have a conversation with, with Nick and not get a little deep every once in a while. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like how your voice went deep too as I said that. <laughs> and I here's the thing. Do a little bit more about me. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. In this in this realm with your audio. I want you to move your microphone this way a little bit. You see that little knob? There you go, right there. Okay. Because what's happening is every time you turn and you'll hear this it's with not me, picking up. You're you're talking like this and then you turn over here to ah. So if it's kind of past you, you can kinda of lean right. on the other side of it. There we so go. As long as your mouth is always looking at the microphone. Or learning. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. You're a perfectionist. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. Because I wanted that audio to be good. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I'm not a perfectionist at, at the same time. It's interesting because I think that you are in a lot of ways, but right. then you're pretty go with the flow with a lot of things as well. Here's something that I know about Nick. Yeah. He always tries to like put me in a category. <laughs> I do categorize people quite a bit. Absolutely. One of the things that I love are personality tests. And so I'm always trying to figure out people's personality types specifically the Enneagram. So if you're listening or watching and you know what the Enneagram is, um, there's nine different personality types. I'm going to go, ha- go ahead and say this now in the pilot because it's something that's going to get brought up a lot. And I think like one of the goals that I have in this podcast is to figure out what type you are because I Ooh. still haven't been able to do that. Yeah, I'm an enigma. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually really interesting for me because I can usually type most people very quickly. Okay. Yeah, you are an enigma. <laughs> so... Um, we're going to figure that out, though. It's going to okay. be a journey, and they're going to come along that journey with us. Ooh. Get ready. But so, I'm, an, I'm an Enneagram, too, and we're known as, like, the helpers. Okay. Um, so I feel like maybe sometimes I just like helping people figure out who they are. So All right. We're going to do that. That's anyway. the Enneagram. What? And, like, like rating. What, what do you call it? Not rating people. You're not like, you're a 10. <laughs> it's not one out of 10. There are nine different types, um, but everybody is just, everybody has, like, one that they really lean into. And then I, I think that there's certain qualities about everybody that can kind of like come from the different personality types as well. But okay. Anyways, we'll dive more into that for sure. Yeah, it doesn't have to come up in the podcast. Yeah. Or in the pilot, it right. does come up in the podcast. It will be definitely coming up in the podcast. Okay. But um, but uh, your your tendencies towards being a perfectionist maybe play into your personality type. Yeah. Okay. Which could be interesting. We'll dive deeper into. We'll that. do it. <laughs> but anyway, so um. Yeah, I don't know where we were going with you. We got to go to the next, the next thing. I think. Well, do we, do we feel like we they know who we are at this point? I feel like we're going to continue to share that with them. Yeah, you guys will get to know us a little bit more as the podcast progresses. Yeah. Okay, so this will play into the next question: How did we meet each other? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so something that I joke around with Tim a lot on is that Tim um, doesn't remember most things. I don't remember anything. Like in general, not just with people, but just. In life, in general. You it's very about. strange, though, because I can remember, like, movie plots to an extent. You remember the most specific details on certain things. But right. have zero recollection of the first time that we met each other. But then, like, also, those details for, like, let's take, for instance, a movie, they go away after a while. So, like, I know yeah. that I've seen, like, say, take, for instance, the movie Hereditary. It's a horror film. I watch horror films. Nick does not. That's another thing to know about us. Differences, yeah. Um... Hereditary, I 
can remember specific there's one big moment in hereditary that's like very memorable but like the rest of it i don't know i don't know what happens <laughs> couldn't tell you that's interesting yeah yeah i mean you you store it in your brain for a while but then what's hap- what happens sometimes is that we'll be walking around somewhere a theme park a conference an expo and you'll randomly be like so what about this <laughs> and then they have the most random like stat or or specific like feature of something that we just walked by and i'm like where did you where did you pull that out of yeah so you do remember some things but i do remember some things and i'm always trying to learn something yeah you are you love information i love information yeah there's a little tidbit on who you are i love people i love relationships relationships are everything to me which goes into my enneagram two self like Mm -hmm. i i wake up thinking about people and i wake up like thinking about relationships and they that carries through my thought process throughout the entire day okay it's nice. It's fun. It's great for the people that I'm around. But sometimes it's a it's a, it's a little much. <laughs> it's a, a little overwhelming, <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Um, so, anyways, um, when we met, so we actually met through. Uh, well, you know, I was a fan of yours, fan of your channel, loved watching your videos. Um, and I remember one time I was walking around Magic Kingdom and I said, "Hey, look, it's Tim." Came up, said hello. That actually happened a couple of times, and then um, I met you with your family at one point. Jen and I started talking more and more. My wife, Francie, was with me. We all started talking. And eventually we like connected through Instagram. And then it all just happened really quickly. We like, were like, hey, we should meet up sometime and hang out and get the families together. You guys drove over to where we live, over in yeah. Lakeland, and hung out at a park with us in Lakeland, which was a lot of fun. That was one of the first times? Well, that was probably like time number three. Okay. I remember that specifically. Oh, good. The park yeah. you do. The park? Yeah. And walking around the lake. We went to, yeah, we did. We walked around the lake. We went and got, uh, was that the time? We went to the food hall. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We got some food. Got ramen, I think. I don't eat ramen. Pizza. So it wasn't me. (laughs) But that was fun. Another fun fact about me, I don't like noodles. Interesting. They're too much work. Like noodles in general? Yeah. No spaghetti? No, I'll eat spaghetti. But like, say you get a chicken parmesan, Hmm. it usually comes on spaghetti. I'd rather it on mashed potatoes. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. You need to go, this is going to date when we're recording this, but at Jollywood Nights, you need to go get the meatball with polenta. Yeah. It's love delicious. polenta. Yeah. So good. So yeah, we met and we, our families got together, hung out, and it was, it was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. But really though, our, our families clicked well. We have, we both have boys. Yeah. Um, you have two boys. I have two boys. Um, at the time... I think it was just Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. So Oliver had not made an appearance. Actually, Oliver was not even on the way yet. I don't we, think so. Yeah. No, when we all hung out together. My boys are Luke and Ethan. They are seven and five. Um, and the boys had a great time playing um, at the park. And it was cool. Everything just happened really fast. And we appreciate you guys' friendship so much. So as much as you're a perfectionist, when it comes to like planning things, yeah. I am, I'm a planner. And like, if things aren't going the way that I feel like that they should be going, I've received text messages you from you often being like, just go with the flow. Yeah. So I don't, why are we the way that we are? I don't know. <laughs> Cause at the same time, if it was happening to me, I cannot go with the flow. Yeah. I okay. need, it's like, yeah, if things throw you off, you, well, I have a, a, a thought process in my head of like, here's how it's going to go. And the second that it stops going that way, so hard for me to get on track. It's going to be interesting to see how that trans like translates into how we handle the podcast. Yeah. We just kind of go with the flow. We have to. <laughs> when you hear go with the flow, does your brain immediately go to um, Finding Nemo? The musical? Yeah. yeah. Same. Okay. Glad we're on that same page. Yeah. We met. We became friends. I don't remember the first time that it was in one of your vlogs. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was probably a festival at Epcot, maybe. Probably. Yeah. But I've been in your vlogs a few times, um, which has been cool. I've been able to meet people who watch your vlogs, and they now know me as Nick, who shows up in Tim's videos from time to time. Oh, there it is. That's exciting. That's fun. I always love getting to meet people, and they're like, oh, you're with Tim. (laughs) So um, that's fun. And yeah, we just hang out at the parks together, which is something that we're both passionate about. Um, Our conversations about the theme parks are not just limited to what we're doing on this podcast or on camera we are texting and calling each other talking about what's happening at the theme parks because we're so passionate about it right and it's nice to have that connection that will be something that is 
a part of this podcast. For sure. Of course, the news about theme parks, things that are happening in theme parks, if we just went to an event for theme parks. Right. We've both been to Destination D and D23 Expo. Yeah. And like, you know, we were both in California at the same time. Yeah. So there might be on location podcasts that happen. That'd be exciting. Yeah. The theme park space is always changing. There's always new things coming, not even just specific to Disney, but to all of the theme parks. There's always stuff happening. And I feel like we have a lot of opinions on those things sometimes. And it's fun to be able to just like unpack our thoughts. And we felt like maybe people would appreciate listening to that sometimes. So hopefully let us know. (laughs) Like if you guys are enjoying or would enjoy. Terrible idea. (laughs) Don't. We don't want to hear you. Please stop. No, but yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm excited. I just appreciate having a friend who loves, you know, the things that I'm passionate about as well. And it's nice to be able to like dig into some of that from time to time because we do have opinions and sometimes our opinions are very different, which has been showcased in some of your videos before in the past, specifically with food, our taste buds. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always nice. It's always nice to like, you know, see how an experience was for one person and then, you know, compare that to another person's thoughts and opinions because everybody's different. And so our listeners are our viewers. You all are different. And so, you know, hopefully you're able to like, I, I don't know. I think it'd be funny to see like in the future people saying like, mm, yeah, I'm more with Tim on this one or I'm more with Nick on this one okay. and see how they relate to that. So that'll be fun. It'll be a competition. Maybe we can make like a t-shirt that says like, I'm a Nick or I'm a Tim. Oh. And that'd be fun. That feels like, uh, what was that show that you were watching? That I the was summer watching. that I, oh, yeah. that I became pretty or whatever. <laughs> the summer that I became. The kind of summer that I turned pretty. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Yeah. Look at you remembering that. Well, I, yeah. Yeah, team team uh, Connie Baby. Or Connie team, Baby? <laughs> yeah, or team Jeremiah. But I don't want them to be teams. People don't have to like pick a team. Okay. Yeah. I, By I, making a shirt, you're already if I walked, making it a team. If I walked around the parks and everybody's wearing Team Tim shirts, I'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> well, maybe we shouldn't make these shirts then. <laughs> these shirts. <laughs> there it was. It was a bad idea from the game. I don't think so. I think if it said, I'm a Nick instead of team nick then it's a little different oh so it's like sex in the city i've never like seen i'm a miranda city. sure I'm yeah charlotte something like that i'm just i know names. enough I about their correct sex in the city that that sounds like that's what it would be okay or if we were talking about friends like i'm a joey okay. i'm a ross what's next on the list so um i feel like you're like the podcast master right now because i'm just kind of sitting here and i'm like next next well we talked about like what is this about so we talked about theme parks yeah. Another thing that we'll talk about is just our lives as fathers. Um, parenthood brings all kinds of fun and exciting moments, and I feel like those happen on a weekly basis. So it'll be fun to just kind of get into that and share like moments from our week when we were just having fun as a parent. Like right. whether it was something really positive, a funny story, a cool little moment with our kiddos. Um, maybe it's an experience that they got to have at a theme park that we had really been looking forward to knowing that we're similar in this way maybe it's an experience that we were really looking forward to that didn't go the way we thought it was going to go right and sometimes you just have to pivot on that give you an example yeah this one went the way or it didn't go the way that i thought oh, it was I, gonna go. I think i know where you're going with star it. tours yeah jackson rode star tours for the first time and i didn't think he was gonna like it but he really liked it that's awesome yeah that's amazing like and so that opens the window to so many more attractions that he can experience and, right yeah i think that um there'll be a lot of moments like that like the first for our kids as they get older. Right. Um, my boys love roller coasters. So there's so many coasters in Luke's future. Actually, you know, I say there's so many. He's already experienced quite a few roller coasters. Like he's a big Iron Gwazi fan over at Bush Gardens. That is a very intense roller coaster, but he loves it. So right. there'll be a lot of fun moments like that that we'll talk about. Um, the, the sky's the limit. Or what is your saying? The world is our pump. <laughs> We'll have a couple nods to the to the channel in there for sure. But yeah. we can um, come up with our own sayings too. Yeah. The, I think you can't force those moments. I think they just have to happen. I'm gonna force one right oh, now. Okay, here we go. Zooey mama. What is that? Oh, I thought I'm um, diary of a wimpy kid. Oh. Have we never seen it? No. Mm. There you go. <laughs> that that will happen a lot on this podcast as well. There's a lot of references that Tim will say that usually go over my head, which that one I'm a little disappointed in myself for because I feel like I should have understood that reference, 
but I think that there are a lot of, so there is an age difference between Tim. And oh yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. So there's about a decade between us. I don't like it that you said it was a decade. <laughs> I would have preferred you to say 10 years, <laughs> but it is a decade. Facts are facts. So. I know, but I'm just saying a decade sounds terrible. Well, I mean, it is what it is. It's okay. I, I'm not here to judge you for that, but um, Tim will have a lot of pop culture references and share those with me and they go way over my head. He doesn't know who the Beastie Boys are. But I, I feel like, and I still don't, I feel like um, I wonder if there's things that I could say that you wouldn't understand. That's the problem here is that I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. I feel like you can share. I've lived through it all. Exactly. It's but not I have a bad fair. memory. <laughs> True. But that, Throw one out for, for me and I'll see if I get it. Um, oh, I'm putting you on the spot. What... Who starred in a Christmas episode of Lizzie McGuire, um, where Lizzie and this star, guest star, kissed? Joey Fatone. No. <laughs> Joey Fatone. That's too old, right? <laughs> Lizzie McGuire. Who played Lizzie McGuire? Wow, that makes me sad. You don't even know that. No, no, she was my it, first she was my first crush. You. Okay. Just uh Lizzie McGuire. That is blonde hair. Yeah. They did cartoons about her on Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Can't remember her name. Hillary Duff. Hillary Duff. She was also in, uh, most recently, she was in How I Met Your Mother. Did you watch that? No. Okay. I mean, I've seen it. Yeah. But I, didn't, I wasn't like a regular watcher of it. Right, right, right. Hillary Duff, the think, age would be... Yeah, I think like that age range. I wonder if listeners will even know this. Like, I wonder if like... I think that was a little bit too... Ross Lynch. <laughs> is he too young? I don't even know who Ross Lynch is. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, who is as old as Hillary Duff? Who's she married to? Uh, I don't know who she's married to, but, um, I will say, and this is sad, but I will say that he's recently passed away. Oh no. Yeah. Now I'm like trying to think of who was recently passed away in this. It was last year. I don't know. Just tell me. It was Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter. Yeah. That makes sense. He's saying, I want candy. Oh. And when he came up to the door, he said, Merry Christmas, Lizzie McGuire. And then he kissed her. Oh, anyways, well, that was nice. <laughs> so there are things that I have experiences that you won't know and have reference yeah. to. High School Musical. I feel like you're not a big, like, no, the Wildcats. <laughs> know nothing about them. <laughs> Zac Efron. Don't know anything about him. I think you know some things. I know that he recently hurt himself and he had to have a lot of plastic surgery. Right. Yeah. I feel like that was maybe like five years ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, there are things that I'm going to be able to talk about that. But okay. that that's one of the beautiful things about this podcast is that we're going to be able to bring not even just different tastes, but just a decade worth of different dynamics and right. and perspectives to things. Because a lot, I mean, as I feel like we were on the cusp of having very similar childhoods, sort of. Right. Like I grew up before the internet was like super popular. The internet became more popular, I would say, later into my childhood. But- has the internet always been there? Uh, no. I remember a time before the internet. Mm. Not much of it, but yes. Okay. A lot of my childhood was before the internet. Right. Okay. Yeah. What was your first cell phone? Um, I was 16. What was it? Like what yeah. type of cell phone? It was a Samsung Glide, I think they were called. Okay. Yeah. So, I, and I mean, I know that like that was advanced for cell phones for sure when right. I got it. Mine was a Nokia. Yeah. Like yeah. a brick phone. My parents had those. Okay. I liked it because I could like change the. I liked playing Centipede on their phones. Is that what the game was called? Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's a great time. The snake kept getting like bigger. Yeah, and you had to like not block yourself. Yeah, it's a good time. My our first computer as a family was like, it was like black and orange. You not had like colors. Well, like the screen was black and orange. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there is there a name for that? I mean, like a console computer. Oh, sure. Usually green and. Green and black. Yeah, ours was orange. I don't know why. Do you know what kind of computer it was? No, I don't. Okay. No, but I remember like, I mean, I remember when we when we updated to a Windows. Pretty funny because my first family computer was a Windows computer. Wow. Windows 3.1. I guess we were just a little behind the times. We also had like our TV growing up was a TV that sat on the ground and we didn't have a remote for. We had to go like, this was old, but we had to go like punch the numbers. Yeah. And like, if we wanted to turn up the TV, it'd be like. My dad would be like kicked back in the lazy boy. Be like Nick, go turn. You up were the, the remote control. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the children were the remotes for sure. I think your first computer because it didn't. What did it do? Was it just a word processor? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, then it was just a word processor. Oh, okay. It wasn't actually a computer. Oh, okay. You just could type on it. Yeah. Oh, and then it would print. So it was like a fancy typewriter. Yeah, okay. a typewriter with a screen. Yeah, that you had a second chance on. Oh. Like if you misspelled something, you could delete it. Back in the yeah, yeah. 
Whereas like a regular typewriter, you're just like typing away. Yeah. I So yeah. Yeah. But then I remember getting windows and I remember like dial up internet for sure. Okay. Like I remember being on the computer when I got home from school and my mom being like, I need to use the phone. So you've got to get off. Oh, okay. So like, I feel, I, I remember those things for sure. Gotcha. We were an internet heavy family. Okay. So we had a dedicated phone line, but it was my dad's work line. Nice. So like he needed the internet for work. So you can like, we could just still have it. But I feel like that plays into who we are as human beings as well, which will be interesting right. to see how that like, co- like, you know, comes out into the podcast and even just theme park experiences might have right. something to do with that as well. So okay. more about like what this is about. So we're going to, we're going to talk about theme parks. We're going to talk about being fathers. Um, and then with Tim and I, as you just experienced, you have no idea where our conversations can go. And that's the fun of it. Right. That's the beauty behind it. We, um, and I will tell you, I did hold back. There was a lot more tangents that I wanted to go on. Well, that's the beautiful thing about this podcast is we don't have to hold back. Well, I was just doing it for the pilot. Right. I was true, holding true. back a little. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a little preview. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in listening to us tangent for an hour, come on. Do you ever, uh, I'm going to do a tangent right now. <laughs> okay. Do you ever hear a word? This is what I'm talking about when we're walking around and he'll randomly be like, what do you think about, and it has nothing to do with what? It has nothing to do with anything. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you my exact thought process there. Mm-hmm. Actually, I can't. I don't know where. I think you said stay tuned okay. and then I said festooned <laughs> in my brain. And so festooned is like a word I that means something. I don't know what that means. It's like to to decorate something. Oh, okay. You festoon it. Like festive. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> but like, you, like, like if you were to put up your stockings around the chimney, the fireplace. Right. You're festooning the fireplace. Interesting. It's festooned. Is there any words that you find yourself like trying to actively use more? Or you're like, oh, I want to use that word more like festooned. No. So I'm married to an English teacher. Oh. Yeah. And she, I feel like, will judge me. <laughs> Why? You're trying to use a new word. Yeah, she would actually. A word of I, the day It's probably more thing. me being self-conscious than anything. But no, I don't really put a lot of thought into that. Okay. What, are, what are some of the words you're trying to use more often right now? None of them right now. <laughs> But like, if I think of a word, I'd be like, oh, I wonder why we don't use I that as often. I still can't fully understand how your brain went there from festooned. <laughs> Stay tuned. It rhymed. But but were you thinking you wanted to use festooned more often? No, no. I was like, <laughs> festooned's a word that people could use more often, but they don't. Your, why don't they? Your brain is fascinating. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> yeah, I view that in the best way possible. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> This is, this is, this is Nick and Tim right here. I think that we should try to use festooned more often. All right. It's unfortunate that the holidays have come to an end because I feel like that would have been an appropriate time. Oh, because this, this, this pilot is coming out after the holidays. So like peeling back a little layer here, we're recording this like as we are in full fledged holiday season. Right. Obviously. But, but now I feel like as this has been released, the holidays are now over, which is that's sad. Yeah, but you know what? what? We do. The have some... streets are no longer festooned. <laughs> but with Epcot, decorations. Epcot will be festooned with Festival of the Arts soon. Did that make sense? I think so. Did I use that appropriately? I think so. There will be lots of. There'll be art festooning. What is festooned? People, no, people don't Epcot care. Epcot will be have will have been festooned. <laughs> yeah. It just sounds strange. But that is something exciting too. So like, where are we going? Where where are we going with all of this? And honestly, like there'll be moments where you all will be like, where are you going with this? Like a conversation about the festooned. But as far as the podcast goes, it's just going to be a lot of fun, like experiencing things that we've already experienced or new experiences. Like if we look ahead to 2024 and we're focused on like what all is happening in 2024, just for theme parks in general, right out the gate, we've got Festival of the Arts coming up. And that's one of my favorite festivals i don't know what is your favorite epcot festival festival of the holidays me too which it's so short i know it's so sad and and but we have blockouts like we don't have the incredible pass so we're blocked out for a lot of festival of the holidays tragic it's tragic that's another thing that i think will come up often is i think that there with theme parks there's a nostalgia and i have a nostalgia for the very first festival of the holidays okay because there was the the food that you got was like full size plates mm. and it was still just like $7. Wow. That's I feel like... what I want again, but that's not going to happen again. So I feel like that's why am I so into Festival of Holiday? I feel like people will learn more about this too. Like, I feel like Epcot, no, your favorite park is Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. But you have a lot of nostalgia with Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, same year I was born. Yeah. I opened the year you were born. I don't have that much nostalgia with Epcot. I don't know why, for whatever reason, like growing up, we didn't go to Epcot as much. 
we went to Magic Kingdom. Like that was our okay. go-to park. And then Hollywood yeah. Studios some as well. But Magic Kingdom was like, and I feel like a lot of people can probably relate to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, so I have a lot more nostalgia with Magic Kingdom. But How often would you take trips to Disney or would you just go to Disney? So we grew up like 45 minutes away. Okay. And so we, it was both. We would take trips, but we would also just go. Okay. Um, I have an older bro- older half brother who lives out of state. And when he would come to visit every summer, that was one of the things that we did with him was we would go to Disney. But then we were going. I mean, it was just easy to go living yeah. 45 minutes away. And and back in the day, you know, the resorts, I would, I would say were a little more affordable for the average family. Yeah. And so we would just make trips and go stay at the resorts for the weekend. It wouldn't even go into the parks. We would just hang out at the resorts all weekend. Okay. Um, so I have a lot of memories of that for sure. My father was a cast member. Right. So like we had parking passes, like employee parking passes on all of the cars. Yeah. So like even when I was driving, like before I was driving, we'd do this too. But when I was driving, I could just go to Disney. That's awesome. Because you grew up here in Orlando. Orlando. Yeah. yeah. And so, so I grew up in the Tampa area, which is not far at right. all, but, um, not as accessible, obviously. Right. But I have, a, I, like I said, I have so many memories of coming to the theme parks and I lost it. What were we doing? Where were we? Where were we? <laughs> no, but so we, we started talking about festivals. We started talking oh, about things, yeah, yeah. but looking ahead to 2024, um, right out the gate, we've got festival of the arts coming up and that's always a great time. In fact, I think that's one of the first vlogs that i was in with you this last year festival because i remember trying freeze-dried skittles with you Uh uh-huh yes and that cake is coming back by the way okay yeah i do like festival of the arts too i think that's another fun one i think that's become my favorite festival yeah i also appreciate that the weather cools off a lot for that festival and i feel like you can enjoy it a little bit more yeah but there's so many like new and exciting things always happening with the theme parks um and i think about you know we've got d23 expo coming up this summer yeah um, so we'll be going to Disneyland. Everybody loves Disneyland. It's my favorite park. Yeah. Favorite Disney park. Yeah. Yours too? Yes. It's the one that I've, that I, okay. So I liked, uh, Japan the best. Okay. Tokyo. But I've only been there once. Right. So like Disneyland has a bigger space in my heart. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll go to Japan. Wow. Yeah. That's a dream. On, on location. Wow. Recording in Japan. Yeah. International. Yeah. That tracks. So we got to talk about that. Why do we call it that track? Right. Well, well, first of all, you're Tim Track. I'm Tim Track. <laughs> um, but, but that's not also, everything. I came up with the name that tracks. Um, it just kind of came to me. Yeah. Texted it to Tim. We we went through a series of time where we were just really like throwing different names out there. Um, I don't have them pulled up, but there were some. I have one that I thought of. Okay. It was the podcast. It was too long. That's why we didn't check it, it choose like, it. Like a full sentence. It was a full sentence. <laughs> it was a podcast. With Nick and Tim and where they've been. Yeah. Really rolls off the top. <laughs> Does and rhymes. It's that rhyme. <laughs> no, but we did. We went through a, like a period of time where we were just brainstorming and trying to come up with different names. And, you know, that tracks popped into my brain. Obviously, it's connected to you being Tim Tracker. Yeah. Um, but more than that, um, I think roller coasters are built on tracks. Trains. Let's get real symbolic here. We're on a trains. Like Walt Disney himself established what is now the empire of Disney parks because he liked trains. Yeah. I think that tracks, I'm going to, I'm going to get deep and symbolic for a second tracks, especially on roller coasters are all over the place sometimes. And that's the way that life can feel sometimes. Okay. But it's fun. You're along for the ride. You yeah. just go with the flow. Yeah. So this is all coming together. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's like all tied up nice with a little bow. <laughs> But I think that like if we're going to end it anywhere, um, in terms of ending our pilot anywhere, oh yeah, tying into like what we have to look forward to in the future, and talking about that tracks, I think like we're just really looking forward to the opportunity to just connect further with the people that listen and watch, people that watch your channel, people that follow me on Instagram. Tim and I have a great friendship, and we have a lot of fun together. And so we figured, why not invite everybody into a space where you can get to know us even more. We have dreams for this podcast. We have things that we like really want to do soon. And one of those things that I think is realistic to be able to do soon is the opportunity for listeners to either write in via email or maybe even call in um, so that we can connect, answer questions, uh, connect even further with those that are paying attention. Yeah. I think that tracks. Yeah, it does. So here's Nick's phone number. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. 
but yeah, so I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to this time together. Just in general, I'm looking forward to being able to like spend that much more time with you. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, how are you I don't go? really want to spend time with you. <laughs> I'm really all about the that track. where the, uh, the microphone is placed <laughs> and getting the correct audio out of it and the lawnmower outside. I feel like we should eventually develop some sort of like point system for how many times that we can use that tracks like appropriately. Oh, that does that. Track. Oh, you know, it would be fun too is like listeners and viewers like in the future if we can get them like using it in their daily lives. Ooh. I've done it recently. Like I've been in group what? I've been in group texts where I'm just randomly like, hmm, that tracks. Oh, okay. And they don't even know what I'm talking about. I want to get it on the news. What? I want a newscaster to be like, oh that tracks. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Yeah. The sky, I can. the sky's the limit. I need to come up with like my own version of that. Of the sky's the limit? Yeah, because you have the palm trees. What do the I world have? is our oyster. The world is our palm trees. You have two the versions. The, limit. the world is our oyster is a, a well-known phrase. Is it? Have you never heard this? No. Oh. I don't know a lot of phrases. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's interesting because, so another fact about me. I thought we were ending this, but that's okay. We can keep going. I'm well, fine talking just about Just slight me. tangent. Yeah. Um, I am Cuban-American, so I feel like that's impacted like my... Um, exposure to certain sayings well now i'm gonna stop you right there okay i want to let you finish but <laughs> okay wouldn't i feel like i just had a taylor swift moment <laughs> wouldn't you have your own your own phrases though uh yeah like cuban phrases yeah yeah but most of them would be in spanish and i'm not like perfectly bilingual by any means like i can speak a lot of spanish spanish sandwich i can speak a lot of spanish but i can also like i understand it better than i can speak it okay um, my mom, uh, Spanish was her first language. So my mom is Cuban and then my dad is American. Okay. Um, my mom's parents immigrated from Cuba and Spanish was her first language. She taught herself English by watching Sesame Street. Oh. I mean, obviously school had something to do with that as well, but that's really where like the groundwork was established with okay. Sesame Street. But because she grew up in a Cuban household, she didn't learn a lot of these sayings and she even has a hard time pronouncing certain English words still to this day. Right. Yeah. That's understandable. But yeah, so I don't. I feel like I missed out on some of these like fun sayings, like something about oysters. What was it? The world is your oyster. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Yeah. What does that have to do with anything? Do you I open think, it and there's yeah, like a pearl like, inside? Yeah. It, it's an open book, an open oyster. The sky's the limit makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. No, it doesn't. What? How is the sky the limit? Because it's limitless. It's not. It doesn't go to space. You're out of sky's realm. But is, into space. Is space, space not considered is the limit. part of the sky? No. Why? Because the sky there. is our atmosphere. I don't. I don't think that's true. That's mm. not scientific. When you look up at night, do you say that track? Look at the sky. <laughs> I guess you do. The night sky. Yeah. Okay. The stars are in the sky. That's true. But technically, they're not in the atmosphere. We'd all burn up. Mm. Huh? Science. Gotcha. You did get me. That tracks. That does track. <laughs> all right. You win this one, Trebek. <laughs> I don't understand that reference. You don't know who Alex Trebek is? No. I'm I, sorry, what? It sounds familiar. <laughs> Wait. Okay. We don't know. This, this is beyond the Beastie Boys. You don't know who Alex Trebek is? I don't think so. Is this like an 80s pop culture reference? He was the host of Jeopardy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would you say that to me when, when I got something right? Oh, because he was... The host of Jeopardy? Well, as a Saturday Night Live reference, really. Ah, see, there you go. But. That's where I missed it. Mm, you got to watch this episode of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Multiple episodes, but. Didn't he recently? Norm McDonald. did he pass away recently? Yeah. Yeah, sad. Both of them. Norm McDonald and Alex Trebek. Just yeah. Both recently passed away from cancer. Both of them. Sad. Anyway, <laughs> we were wrapping this up, but this is, this is the, these are the things that you have to look forward to. Right. I feel like it's going to be hard to keep it under. We're just going to talk for 24 hours straight. <laughs> what was the thing that they used to do, um, like a telethon? A telethon, yeah. yeah. We'll have callers call in. We talked about that. That would be fun, though, actually. Like and, a, te like a, like a, if we did that for an episode where we just, just, it was constant callers calling in. Okay. I would love that. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. That track. <laughs> so yeah, we're excited. We're excited for you guys to be along on this journey. Hopefully you guys are excited about this as well. Um, this is just, this, I feel like this was the perfect preview of what this podcast can look like we have some structure but there's going to be moments of chaos because that's just what right. it is that's who that tracks with us you it know? does <laughs> um it's just going to be you know a little hectic a little chaotic but i feel like uh, ourselves will come out the the more that we do this the more you'll get to know us as human beings 
Um, I feel like probably you guys already feel like you have a pretty good understanding of who we are, but this is just a different way and a different light to show you all that. And we're excited. I'm, I've been podcasting for two and a half years. I was on another podcast and I'm very excited to be able to do this with you. It's a space that I love to create with. It's a space that I'm familiar with and I'm looking forward to it. It's yeah. Fun. I'm looking forward to it too. I always loved recording podcasts because they can go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we get to track through. That was a bit forced. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever. But yeah, a lot of things to look forward to. A lot coming in 2024 that we'll be going through together and talking about all kinds of fun theme park news, but then just life in general. Yeah. Like our lives are constantly changing with our boys. So that'll be fun to kind of like share those experiences with as well. So now we have to figure out a way to end this. I think we didn't talk about that. Because one thing we haven't done yet is we haven't come up with a theme song or anything yeah like we'll that. have some fun jingles yeah they, they probably have already heard some of it i hope so yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> that's yeah. part but give us grace too because part of this is just we're getting started like yeah we're figuring it out too as it, as it goes along but i do think that like we need a fun way to end it oh i feel like you should be ending it because you have just give me a random fact we'll end it on a random fact from tim a random fact we'll be like noggin dude noggin do you not understand that reference no what's this where they're like, noggin, dude. Oh my gosh. We just talked about Finding Nemo. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got you. <laughs> I got it. Go with the flow. All right. Yeah, go with the flow. Th uh, this will be your go with the flow moment. What's a random fact? That uh, horseshoe crabs have blue blood? Really? Yeah. Blue blood? Blue blood. And um, their, the, their blood is used in things like vaccines and wow. medical things and their blood is so valuable that they are a protected species for their blood you're not allowed to kill a horseshoe crab to take its blood i've heard that you are allowed to harvest not me like medical yeah. people are allowed to harvest blood from horseshoe crabs why is it blue um I'm sure it has something to do with the chemicals in it like ours turns red because it oxidizes because of the iron in it right um ours isn't red inside of our body but theirs comes out blue. oh ours turns red right when it comes outside of our body. yeah so I don't say no. I would be concerned that we would like, I would be concerned that ending every podcast with a random fact would be daunting because you would run out of them. But then I think about it and you would never run out of never them. Never run out of random <laughs> facts. <laughs> so I think that's it. There's your random fact for our pilot episode. Hor Horseshoe crowd's blood is blue. And you know, if you can just like, if someone could just make a book and just write down all these random facts, that'd be fascinating to go back and read eventually. Yeah. So there it is. That yeah. tracks. Welcome. Welcome 20, to the chaos. 2024. Yeah. Well, beyond 2024. And beyond. Yeah. But like, you know, that's the Kicking year on. that we're in. Yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. This is so exciting. If like, cause this is going to go out on YouTube. So there will be a comment section and there's a comment section on the podcast too. Leave us some of your resolutions. Yeah. I want to hear it. be fun. Yeah. Yeah. What are, what are, and I'd be interested specifically, what are some of your theme park resolutions for 2020? Yeah. What is are there like a ride that you haven't been able to get on that you want yeah. to ride? Maybe they have trips planned this year that they're just like really looking forward, like bucket list trips or yeah. maybe not even a bucket list trip, but you're finally coming back to Orlando or you're going to Disneyland. I want to go to Montana. Oh. Do Adventures by Disney in Montana. Oh, that'd be fun. Be fun. Yeah. That tracks. Um, so there it is. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos. We're excited to have you here. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, we've been excited to share this with all of you guys. We've been excited to release it to you. And we'll see where we go. Yeah. The sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. Horseshoe crabs. See you guys later. Bye, guys.